questions. All right, so today we are starting section 19, which is entitled His Development, talking about the development of Jesus. A very short section here, Luke 2, 51 to 52, just two verses. So we see that, uh, we saw before why they were going to Nazareth, all the things that uh, were involved with that, uh, that they were in Egypt, and why they were there. And so now we see that they're uh, in Nazareth, and we see uh, Jesus' attitude uh, toward his parents, uh, what his mother was doing with everything that was happening, and uh, of course the growth of Jesus uh, in uh, verse 52. Okay, so question 130, and asking you to be creative. Uh-oh. Why is he always asking us to be creative? Okay, put what is said in Luke 2.52. Wait a minute, did we talk about this already? Um, it was a different verse. Said the same thing. Okay. Uh, I thought, thought this sounded real familiar. Uh, so uh, uh, put it in a short paragraph describing Jesus at this point in his life. All right, so we've already talked about this. Uh, the fact that he grew spiritually and physically in relationship to God and to other human beings. Anything you uh, would like to add to what we talked about before? Any other thoughts you've had since we discussed it yesterday? Is it good? Mm-hmm. good. <laughs> okay. <coughs> we shall go on to so number 131. Where did Jesus spend most of his adult life? And uh, yeah. this may surprise you. I think a lot of people would be surprised. Where did he spend most of his adult life? Galilee. Galilee. How many of you said Galilee? How many said Judea? Jerusalem. What, what else is there? <laughs> Nazareth. Nazareth. Oh, oh, Nazareth. Okay, Nazareth is a town in Galilee. Okay, we'll take that as well. How many had Nazareth? <laughs> you, you had, I wandered there for a minute, and uh, you maybe were wondering too. It's like saying, you know, most of you maybe uh, spend most of your life in. Uh, Ohio, but he might have said Columbiana or Youngstown or Austintown or Canfield or something like that. Okay, so either Nazareth or Gal. Uh, actually, Nazareth uh, would not be. Uh, let me change that. Uh, he grew up in Nazareth, but most of his adult life was not spent in Nazareth. So let me adjust that. So Nazareth would not be correct, but he did spend most of his adult life in Galilee. So if we look at the, the map over here, I'm not sure if it's, um, this is an Old Testament map, but uh, down here is Judea, where Jerusalem is, and up here, here's the Sea of Galilee, can you see it there, and Galilee is up here. Now he was born in Nazareth, but as an adult, he moved over to a, a city on the, the shores of the Sea of Galilee called Capernaum. And that's where he spent most of his ministry, either in Capernaum or around in Galilee. All right, any question then? The answer is Galilee. Uh, so how many of you had Galilee? Again. All right. Uh, and how many of you had Nazareth? Okay, I want to, why did you put Nazareth? I'm it's, interested to know. It said Nazareth. It said what? What's it this? The verse said Nazareth. Oh, I thought it was Nazareth. Okay, go us where he went, where he went to live as a, a young person, was Nazareth. Okay, so you were looking at that verse and thought that must be it. Okay, all right, we'll count as a bonus point for Galilee. Joel? And people often call him Jesus of yeah. Nazareth. Yeah. Okay, because that's where he's from. It's like they might call me Mr. Henry of Corsica, because that's where I was born. No, of course, nobody would. What? What? Where? Where is Corsica? Yeah, mm-hmm. Pennsylvania. It's a, little, it's a little town in Pennsylvania, named after the island of, upon which Napoleon Bonaparte was born. Or in which Napoleon Bonaparte was born. All right, so uh, that's just where he's from. That's not where he's living. <laughs> Okay, so um, I, I suppose I would, I would be considered a Pennsylvanian because I was born in Pennsylvania. Wow. But, I'm a, but I'm also a Buckeye because I've adopted Ohio as my home 
<laughs> yes. I mean, I guess if you think about it, he spent most of his adult life in Nazareth because when they're 12 years old, they become an adult. And he was still in Nazareth then. He didn't leave until he was Oh, like, no, it's that. Technicality. So from 12, 12 until 30, he is still in Nazareth. Oh, that is fact. <laughs> 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 I, I didn't think of it that way. She should get extra money. And we should get Nazareth. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 I was I was thinking it's all like 30 on, but really, yeah. 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 Okay. So I just think I'm <laughs> right. um, we have something else besides Nazareth or Galilee. I don't want to embarrass you, but just to make sure we're including every possibility. Anybody have anything besides Nazareth or Galilee? I right, put up your hand if you had Nazareth or Galilee. Let's go. We'll see who's if anybody's left. Okay. Um, we'll just count this as a point then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that, that was actually that deserves a ring of the bell. Good job, right? Doesn't mean anything, but some people go through all four years without ever getting a ring of the bell. So. There you go. Uh, number th one thirty-two. Contrast. Where did John the Baptist spend most of his adult life? In contrast to uh, Jesus, that is. Where did John the Baptist spend most of his adult life? Joel? Um, he spent it in the wilderness, and Jesus spent his, his life in the city. Right. So John the Baptist was in the wilderness. Everybody got that? We'll count that as a point. That was pretty easy. And number 133, what effect did this have upon his image? Talking about John the Baptist. So the fact that he lived most of his adult life in the wilderness, what did that do for his image? How did people perceive John the Baptist? What do you say? Look, look down on him. Okay. What else? See him like kind of crazy, maybe. Yeah, kind of, there's this crazy guy living out in the wilderness. Yeah. Any other thoughts? <coughs> we kind of look at him like a loner, a hermit or something. He's out there all by himself. A crazy person living out there by himself. And you think about what he ate. That would tend to go along with that as well, right? He's out there eating bugs. That crazy person never never cuts his beard or his hair. He's out there eating bugs. Mm -hmm. That's not exactly doesn't exactly get you a prime spot on the news, right? Being a, a normal person, uh, maybe on maybe on the news as a crazy person. All right. Uh, how many of you had something that sounds uh, like what we talked about in 133? Okay, we'll count that also. All right, so let's go through and count up the number of points we have. Um, while we're doing that, let me announce to you that we're having a quiz tomorrow over background, uh, introduction, and the arrival of the king, which is uh, the, the, the material we covered before getting into the paragraphs, and then paragraphs 1 through 19. The background uh, information that we had gone over before we got into the text, and then paragraphs 1 through 19. 